it started raining and uh, I found a little cubby hole. It's called survival. I've been watching a lot of the last lately and they say number one rule to survival is to stay dry. So here I am under a contraption that is not meant for somebody to be underneath, but uh, you do what you have to on Shane TV to survive and to create more about content. And here we are, staying dry. <laughs> keeping my kicks safe, most importantly. Could care less about myself getting wet, but kicks, no sorry am I getting these wet on the first day that they've been unboxed. No way. TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be talking about a re-release on the Yeezy 350 V2s in the zebra print black and white colorway. Let's take a quick sneak peek. unboxing and review if you're new to the channel welcome be sure to hit that subscribe right now give this video a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions feel free to leave those down below hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that they don't want you to miss out on also be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store as mentioned earlier i'm so excited to do this review and unboxing but these are the 350 v2 yeezys in the zebra print I was so bummed in 2017 with these release because I was not able to actually get my hands on a pair of these. I waited and waited for these to re-release. It just honestly wasn't able to make it happen. And here we are again with a release on this color scheme and I was able to snag a pair. So we're going to go through the overview of these, jump into size and fit, and then we are going to follow that up with styling. Obviously this is a really fun print and zebra print currently is in style. So very happy that I was able to just nail down a pair of these so that I could style them with some zebra print. Then we'll conclude with how these have maintained a really high price point on the resale market. Let's jump right into it. So starting with the front portion of the prime knit, you'll notice that we do have that classic just beginning of those zebra stripes in the black and white alternating color scheme. As we work our way up, we do have just clean white laces, which I think complement this quite nicely because you already have a lot going on. As we work our way to the inner side panels, it does just continue that zebra print pattern in the black and white all the way to the back. We have that pull tab in white and black, and then we have the screen scripture writing in red, which I think red just really goes great with black and white. And I just love how it pops off of the stripe on the side here. On the interior of the sneaker for the insole, we have a white insole with black print for the Adidas and Yeezy. And then as we work our way to the bottom, we do have this translucent white midsole and a translucent outsole where you can also see the boost underneath the sneaker. All right, let's take a look at all of those details and then we'll move on to size and fit.
that is just a beautiful sneaker, let me tell you. I remember just sitting in Kith streets actually in Soho and watching people walk the streets in the zebras and I was always so jealous. The zebras and the belugas really just had this place that I needed in my closet space. I've always had a space just awaiting the zebras and the belugas and I've been able to luckily add those two colorways to my collection. This was definitely one that I had to have. Obviously you guys have seen the blue tints that I've done a review on. This was kind of close, but it just wasn't the zebra. So when I was able to get these, this just kind of sealed the deal for me. And I'm glad that I've kind of figured out my size range as well. I have felt is though the prime knit in the recent years have been a bit tighter and I like to have a little wiggle room in my 350s because it's very shallow and narrow in the toe box so my feet kind of feel claustrophobic I'm not gonna lie and it does take a long time if you're trying to wait and break in that prime knitting so I've honestly just decided to go an entire size up I typically in the past have gone half a size up but I feel like the best sizing for myself because I do wear thicker socks and I like that extra space and my foot does seem to get crammed and shoved up into the toe region so I recommend going a full size up if you're someone like me and you like that extra room you feel a little claustrophobic and like these are too narrow and it hurts your toes uh, if not I would definitely at least minimum wise going half a size up if you do have flatter wider feet this could differentiate the size that works best for you as well as how you like your shoes how you like to wear them if you like it to be on the tighter end and then this could also differentiate another type of size that would work best for you all right now let's jump into styling so again so much fun styling these we got really crazy zebra print going on i really wanted to pull from that kind of print so for the first look i decided to wear some bell bottom zebra printed pants to really just give this full zebra-like I guess effect <laughs> and I paired that with a matching top that was a crop top as well as I layered that with a North Face puffer coat because it was a bit chilly outside today. Uh, so that was the first look. Definitely loved just matching this. I guess you could call it matchy matchy. Uh, for the second look, I switched it up just a little bit and uh, I decided to wear a skirt dressed up, a zebra printed skirt. And then I just layered that with this Aleeks hoodie. And then on top of that, my North Face coast again, it was a little cold. And in the middle of shooting that, it started to downpour. So luckily there was some construction that I hid under to keep myself dry. Uh, but we did manage to get that shot, but definitely can dress these up or or down. last look kept it still pretty casual decided to go with some abstract shorts that were black and white I then wore and layered this paisley printed button down that was black and white I think that you can really mix and match prints with this and just kind of go crazy and all out specifically if they are black and white and I have been seeing a lot of black and white in stores lately so I wanted to kind of mix and match some prints I then layered that with this same cropped hoodie underneath and then I also layered it with a denim coat that also had some nice pops of color don't be afraid to play with colors with these i think neon colors right now are super in and trendy and i think they look great with the zebra prints as well
right, so you let me know those three looks. What was your favorite out of the three? How would you style these? To the end zone, and he's looking to find me. Man, you know where to find me. I'm trying to give me a Grammy so I can dedicate it to my granny. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves. Yeah, I just hit on my key for the jewels. Yeah, ain't no capping, I'ma tell the truth. I've been running for so long, it's hard to lose. Deal, be my source, uh, Christian, like the York. Yeah, I can't stop when I'm far, just get back up. Yeah, I've been quiet all along on my TV toes. Yeah. It to myself, I just give and go. Yeah, I just turn my L's into W's. Yeah, I just told my sins. Yeah, I'm no true. Yeah, stay in your lane, don't you pick and choose. I can't waste my time, I got a lot to lose. To the game that we all along, there was doubting us all along. Now we charting in Hong Kong. What competition they all now gone. How's your currently doing on the resale market? So these retailed at 230, as you know, they used to be 220, but now we are paying that premium price for these 350 V2s at 230. And these are currently going between 290 to 400. So you can see that a lot of people are really going after these. This is just such an OG, really cool, really unique pattern and color scheme. So definitely can see why this has kind of just stood in that high price range when it comes to the resale market. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review, everyone. Thank you so much for those of you who are new and tuned in for the first time. Hit that subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification bell because we do have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for all of our amazing membership perks as well as our merch store. This is JTV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you all on the next episode. Tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves? Tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves?